So Stefan, you're an expert in, in imaging. So what do you expect on uh, you know, digital health? How much will it kind of impact uh, the field of, of, of uh, imaging in cardiology? How, Massively. How, how can this uh, uh, be brought together in a, in a, in a reasonable way so that uh, practicing doctors can integrate this into their uh, clinical practice? On one hand, more automatic analysis, but on the other hand, seeing things that the human eye can't see. Um, I, I don't think as far as imaging is concerned, digital interpretation will be something that the end user notices so much. Mm -hmm. But of course, digital health is going to penetrate the entire field of cardiology, you know, giving you algorithms of what to do with the patient. It's not just limited to imaging, certainly not. No, and uh, yeah. electrocardiography probably will be completely replaced the interpretation yeah. by, by artificial intelligence, virtual reality. And there are new fields emerging. Huh? The one example is cardio-oncology. Yeah, Stefan, what, what do you expect from... Uh, speaking with your committee. Yeah, I, I think it's a great example important. of interdisciplinary collaboration yeah. which benefits anybody. So I think it's about creating awareness mm -hmm. that uh, we have great drugs uh, for fighting right. malignancies, uh, but they may have shortcomings uh, then uh, related to cardiovascular outcome. And I think uh, the appropriate screening for patients at risk and uh, it's on one again, hand, right? it's, imaging. Again, imaging, it's imaging, again. yes. Yeah. And on the other hand, in case uh, patients do develop adverse events, how to optimally address uh, this issue. I think uh, that is something which is an, uh, an no longer emerging field. It is a new field, uh, but which really emerged out of uh, collaboration between two specialties.